What is up everybody and welcome to the very first week of high school football this spring. It's going to be an awesome spring season. Some teams playing up to five games and make sure that you check out the Inland Sports website. That is inlandsports.wordpress.com or you can go to sportswithpep.com. It'll take you to the same exact spot, uh, the same website. We're going to have a list of all the games each and every week. We will update those posts on the website with all the final scores each and every week. So please check that out as we keep you up to date with the very latest of high school football in the Inland Empire. And again, it's very exciting times with this spring season. A lot of teams again kicking off this Thursday, Friday, Saturday, depending on what league you're in. We have games on Thursday nights at 7, Friday nights at 7, Saturdays at 10 a.m. and Saturdays at 5 p.m. So we're going to be loaded with football coverage coming your way for the next five weeks. Weeks. Now, you can tell we are not in the studio this week. We will be back in studio. Everything is fine. We're all healthy and safe. Be back in studio just like normal uh, come next Wednesday as we break down the first week of the high school football season and also look ahead to week two, some of those big matchups coming up. And speaking of those big matchups, let's take a look at some of the big games that we are looking forward to this Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Now, we've got some good ones. Let's start in the land of the big eight as Sun. Tiago will take on Norco Thursday night, 7 p.m. That's always a big rivalry game in the land of the Big Eight. Also, the Rancho Verde taking on JW North. The Huskies making that deep playoff run. And then, hey, Rancho Verde without their star quarterback, A.J. Duffy. How will they do? That's a great matchup in Ivy League play uh, and also in Sunbelt League play in the Rain Cross Conference. Now we got Ramona versus Arlington. Ramona, the previous season, all the way back in 2019, remember the Rams went all the way to a CIF championship game. They will take on the newcomers to the River Valley League, that is Arlington Heritage. They will travel to Murrieta Valley on Friday night. The Patriots were scheduled to kick off the Adam Contreras era in the Minifee Bowl against Paloma Valley, but that one did not happen because of safety protocols inside the Paloma Valley program. And then the same thing for Murrieta Valley. They were supposed to kick off Southwestern League play against Temecula Valley. Same thing for the Golden Bears. So Heritage and Murrieta Valley both had an open spot. So they decided to play each other on Friday night. And that is a fantastic matchup to the top programs in our area. Speaking of the Southwestern League, this game will go a long ways in determining the Southwestern League champion. Chaparral taking on Vista Murrieta also Friday night at 7 p.m. Because the Southwestern League is a Friday night at 7 p.m. league this spring season and then uh, this spring season, the uh, Citrus Hill Riverside Poly game is a Saturday at 10 a.m. game because the Mountain Pass League is a 10 a.m. Saturday league this spring season. I hope that makes sense as these different leagues are slotted into different days and different time slots. So those are some of the big games we're looking forward to in Inland Empire High School football this upcoming week. Now, good news too that San Bernardino County and Riverside County both entered the red tier. So that means the case rate is below seven and those high contact outdoor sports like football, like water polo are no longer required to do weekly testing. I know um, there's a lot of football coaches out there. Um, they understood they had to do it for safety reasons, but it was also very time consuming. So now um, they can legally not have to test each and every week for those uh, high contact outdoor sports like football. Um, high school football. So let's take a quick break here on this abbreviated version of the Inland Sports Show. Again, we'll be back in studio come next week when we come back right after this very short commercial break. We'll talk some CBU women's basketball. We'll be right back. The number one sporting goods store in the Inland Empire is Ken Sporting Goods in Norco. Whether you need new uniforms for the entire team, a letterman's jacket, or new cleats for the upcoming season, check out Ken Sporting Goods. Plus, now you can order masks with your favorite team, school, business, and more. Order for your entire team or organization. Visit KenSportingGoods.com for more information and for the latest on the big sales. Make sure to follow Ken Sporting Goods on Instagram and Twitter. So if you need team uniforms or sports gear, there's only one place to go in the Inland Empire. That's Ken Sporting Goods. Hey guys, it's Pep Fernandez from the number one sports show in the Inland Empire, the Inland Sports Show. I wanted to let you know about the Bass School. That stands for the Boost Alternative School for Student Athletes. 
All of us are trying to find a way to get ahead in the classroom and in athletics. If you're a parent, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Wanting to give your son the best opportunity to succeed. Bass is an all-boys private middle school servicing 7th and 8th grade student-athletes. They've got unique, customized curriculum for student-athletes, individualized nutrition and athletic development, plus rigorous academic development with small class sizes. This is not an online homeschool. This is a private school for students who are serious about their grades and serious about their sports. Bass school enrollment for the 2021-2022 school year begins in January, so don't wait. Lock up your spot today. Visit BoostTrainingSystems.com for more information. And welcome back to a very abbreviated Inland Sports Show. And a big thanks to our awesome sponsors, Ken Sporting Goods and Boost Performance Training. Shout out going out to the California Baptist University women's basketball team, your regular season WAC champions, and also your Western Athletic Conference tournament champions, as CBU is still undefeated on the season. A perfect 24-0 on the year, and then a 27-game winning streak dating back to last year. So CBU is on a roll that is unmatched. Um, the last time a team did something like this, oh, it was a little program called UConn. So they're up there with some of the women's basketball heavyweights. So congratulations to them on that WAC championship. But again, they are in year three of a four-year process of going to Division One, full-fledged Division One. So they were not eligible for the NCAA tournament, the big dance, March Madness, they should be there. But right now they are going back to the WNIT. It's the second time in three years that actually head coach Jared Olson has guided the Lancers to the WNIT. They made it in their first year as a Division I program. They lost their first round game, but now uh, CBU looking to not only uh, win that first round game, but maybe even make a deep run to that championship game in the women's NIT. It all starts on Friday in the Fort Worth region in Texas as the Lancers will open up against the University of New Mexico. Congratulations to California Baptist and best of luck to the Lancers uh, as they make a run towards that WNIT championship. And again, for all your high school football, make sure you go to the Inland Sports website. That's inlandsports.wordpress.com or sportswithpep.com. It'll take you to the same exact place. We'll update all those high school football scores come Thursday and Friday and Saturday morning and Saturday night. Get you all the scores and also look ahead to the following week as we will be back in studio for the Inland Sports Show. My name is Pep Fernandez. Take care. God bless you. We'll see you next time.